sounds so cool when the police catch you and then you're stuck in a cell. Yeah. That's why they're talking about bad boys. What are you going to do? What are you going to do when they come for you? Bad boys, but bad boys, what are you going to do? Yep. You think you're cool being bad, no, but you're not. not. All right, we're back again. So I turned off. I was using a uh, cradle point with a clear wireless, and apparently it wasn't getting enough bandwidth to uh, let the stream happen. All right, merging onto the freeway. Good morning, everybody. Hey, the Rothland, how are you guys doing this morning? Wait, guys driving. We got the Rothland in the house. Our last so these are my three boys on. back here. I'm not sure if you can see. We're headed out to the Portland Nursery to pick up some plants today. So there's Kian, there's uh, Rowan, and uh, that's Liam in back there. So we're jumping on the freeway right now. Beautiful day here in Portland. Do you like the town show? Cloud in the sky. And it's supposed to be about 92 today, so. Cruising in the family van. <laughs> so the Rothland, remember that uh, remember that group that we were watching, the guys playing guitars? Yeah. Rothland, they're on here and they're saying hi back. They're saying hi to you guys. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, Ari, I believe that is uh, your first name. Ari, uh, last name. His last name is Rothland. Our last name is Roth. Roth. Kind of cool, huh? <laughs> so they're pretty much the same. No, except for the guys. Yeah, when I saw you guys going out and getting uh, uh, smoothies that morning, it just looked like a fantastic day in Philly. These guys are in Philadelphia, oh. Pennsylvania, and we are in Portland, Oregon. And we got Colleen on there. Colleen is from uh, uh, Bangor, Maine, which is on the other side of the country from us. I don't know what that is, but I can have an idea that it's tropical. No, no, Bangor, Maine, no. Have you heard of Portland, Maine? Oh, I wish Portland, it was tropical. Portland, Portland. <laughs> so who knows what's going on? Just uh, day life shenanigans as we cruise out to Portland Nursery and then see what happens from there. So. those of you that don't have kids, this would be a good glimpse on what it's like to have three boys. <laughs> it's somewhat mesmerizing because they just get to watch themselves in the video screen on the TV. So they're kind of like, oh, okay. It calms them down a notch. It's actually somewhat healthy. Or not healthy, but helpful. <laughs> not healthy. <laughs> So Rothland guys, I'm, uh, I am uh, certainly looking forward to the release of your EP. Um, I will be purchasing that uh, when it comes down. Don't you dare try to give me a free copy. <laughs> yeah, uh, Colleen, they don't, uh, they don't know much about Stephen King yet. <laughs> So Colleen lives next to a uh, uh, kind of a famous author, a uh, person who writes books, but they're kind of scary books. I can't quite hear because those are open. Oh, I know. I know, but it's too beautiful. Okay, we'll close, she, we'll close the sunroofs, both of them. I know it feels good, but I can't hear what you're saying at all. That's okay. Is that better? Yeah. So Colleen lives next to uh, a guy by the name of Stephen King, who's a famous author. Uh, he writes uh, novels, but they're kind of scary novels. You guys probably aren't too interested in those yet. They're about ghosts and supernatural and, and some weird stuff. Kind oh, of, kind of horror, like... scary stuff. Cool, that sounds fun when I'm a little bit older. <laughs> uh, thanks, Rotham. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's been fun watching you guys um, uh, do the studio work. Uh, absolutely, to hang there, especially when I'm at the desk uh, doing work and listen to you guys produce in the background. Dad, that was a fun um, dance party. Oh yeah, we were, we were goofing off last night. Uh, I was going through catalogs of music. I restored all my data, so I'm going to have a lot of digital files that I can now incorporate with my vinyl I set. I have a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. You guys are playing with your hair. They got into uh, mom's hair supplies last night and gave each other all faux hawks. So I had three kids running around with faux hawks, playing ukuleles, singing, and doing a dance party. That's how it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you bet, Rothland. Absolutely. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tap on here. Yeah, everything's just Rothland. So that's the thing. Um, so it was, uh, it was fun watching you guys in the studio, but 
Um, it, it is a treat to see you guys like when you're out in the street corner and you're playing. Um, you have great uh, uh, presence when you're out there. And uh, to hear actually the song in composition, obviously, you know, studio work, as I know, it's, it's all cut up and you're hearing bits and pieces of songs and the whole thing, and sometimes it tends to lose its context uh, to the additional viewers. But uh, watching you guys perform and everything like that, you guys are great. Uh, Just uh, like we're going to be when we start playing the piano with two hands. And, and I will have to ask you or talk about this at some point, how you guys got together, because you guys have a very unique flow, uh, the way that you guys... Um, uh, there's a certain type of, uh, and it's interesting, you have a very positive energy when you guys are working together. And uh, it's, uh, it's very, very uh, refreshing, I suppose. Um, it's not trying to be anything or anything like that. You guys are very humble. You guys are very nice people. Um, it, it's good to see. It's good to see. Uh, a lot of cases, a lot of people are trying to be something that maybe they're not or trying to make themselves bigger than they actually are, but you guys come across as very genuine human beings, and uh, that's cool. Yeah, I, like I think I just missed my exit. What's that? I like the thing. Yeah, I do too. They're I very good. said I like the fingers they play. You like the well, their fingers are playing too, right? Yeah. But I like the <laughs> <song>. <laughs> All right, so I think I missed my exit. So now we're just gonna zigzag across uh, Southeast Portland because uh, I, I actually uh, we've we've been to this place one time. It's called the Portland Nursery. It's like uh, four or five acres of uh, plants. And, and we, that's where I got um, the biggest of the carnivorous plants. Yes, my and uh, my favorite. My my oldest boy is interested in. Uh, uh, um, uh, carnivorous plants. Yes, uh, having a band is like a family. You are absolutely correct. You guys are living together, eating together, practically. Uh, I mean, it's 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 a union. It really is. Dun, dun, dun. All right, there's only so much I can read here while I'm driving. <laughs> I usually try not to use my cell phone at all while driving, especially with these guys in the car. Here, I'll close this up so you can see. There we are. But uh, yeah, so the uh, last time that we headed to this um, uh, place, I of course looked it up on a map, and uh, there's lots of, uh, 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 Southeast Portland looks like this. It's just roads everywhere, roads everywhere. So it's a matter of trying to recall exactly where that was. And uh, I think we're gonna zigzag a little bit until we find the place we're going to. I am not too generous. You guys have, uh, uh, it's it's refreshing to see. Uh, obviously, Meerkat is a fan, fantastic uh, way to kind of see into people's lives and see how they operate. And because it's live, you can't edit anything out. You get a fairly decent nature uh, understanding of the nature of the person that's on there, um, uh, or people, or group, or even the feeling or vibe within the uh, vicinity of where the video or is being their shot. Interests. Yeah, their interests. You get to learn about the people, and. Um, um, because there's no editing, because it's real time, you can't skip forward, you can't skip back. It's like a live performance. Live performance is always best when you are there live instead of seeing a recording of a live performance. Um, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's part of the magic of, of how everything operates. And so you get a good feel about how that person is. And uh, I, I, I think it's uh, pretty valuable. Now usually all three of these guys back here, as a side note, are not nearly this quiet. You guys, usually you guys are kind of crazy, but I think because we have this going on, it's good distraction for you guys. Something to pay attention to. Unless you're being, let's see. Okay. Hey, good morning, Relay. Relay, the rodeo clown is back on. Remember him? He was, uh, actually, he usually follows my uh, uh, DJ stuff and everything. Good morning, Relay, how you doing? Not much zigzagging here. Yeah. <laughs> Portland is a, uh, yeah, it's a, it is a good city. I like it. You guys like Portland? Yes. Yes. What do you like about Portland? What's your favorite part? Yeah, yeah, we do and have. There's a lot of animals there that I can catch and watch and stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of different things going on. Um, we have about three and a half seasons. Occasionally we get snowed in the winter, but otherwise it usually sits about 34, 38 degrees. And Colleen, um, I, I, I completely agree with you. That's more like when I lived up north in Alaska. Uh, anything that could bite you or sting you or hurt you um, or whatever, you could see coming from a mile away because it was all big. Uh, it's still kind of like that here, uh, unlike, say, when I lived in the Southwest, uh, everything that uh, could kill you uh, lived in your shoe and would sneak up on you like spiders and snakes and all that kind of stuff, scorpions, yeah! <laughs> Just like 
Oh, yeah. We're not trying to do that. So Relay is a rodeo clown. Um, he supports uh, cancer uh, awareness. Oh. And uh, um, I, I believe it's breast cancer. Let me tap here real quick. I can't, uh, I can't see here, but um, he, uh, um, he supports cancer awareness, and he's a rodeo clown at rodeos, uh, where they have events uh, with bulls and horses and stuff oh, yeah, like that. I know that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, we don't have a lot of rodeos around here. Um, so he travels the country and uh, collects money to give to people who have to give to the um, like places that help people with cancer. You know what? I'm actually not certain. Uh, it could be a question that could be posed to him to uh, to do or to learn. But he says, hi, nice to meet the boys. And I think that's you guys, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, we're going to head down this street. Because there's no other kids in here except me, Ken, Rowan. Yep, I, I know, it's not me. He might be talking to me. You think so? No, Call no. me a kid? Because he said boys. I'm going to let him cross the street here. Yeah, but that's He has a boy. baby attached to him. So we'll certainly let him go past. I don't know if you were supposed all cancer. So he says he su he he supports awareness uh, for all cancers. So he's uh, kind of a global position on what he does. So did I get it right? Get what right? Sorry. Um, what, I'm also driving, so I get distracted. He, like goes there, gets money, and gives it to the people who um at like not nursery. Yep. Yeah. He says yes. You are right. Hey. Absolutely. That's a that's that's a very cool and generous thing, isn't it? It's somewhat selfless. Basically, you're putting yourself on the line. Um, to uh, help uh, other people, which is uh, a very, a very commendable thing to do. Oh yeah, that's what I could do if I get the plant here. Hello from Alaska. Patty Fruitcake, where are you from in Alaska? I'm from Anchorage. <laughs> where are you at in Alaska, Patty? Hello, hello. Yeah, uh, uh, Relay is quite cool. He, uh, uh, stuck with me uh, the other night until I think his eyes uh, were ready to collapse um, <laughs> from being tired uh, watching my DJ show on Thursday where I, I, yeah, I was all distracted that night and everything like that. But yeah, Relay uh, uh, stuck around. Uh, uh, my interaction with him has been very positive on here. Seems like a very decent guy. Uh, Relay, you should check out Rothland if you haven't seen them. Uh, excellent, excellent, uh, I would call them an independent band, but a, uh, basically an independent group. They've been uh, mastering an EP here over the last week, and uh, they are due to release it at any moment now. Uh, very, very genuine good guys. I recommend checking them out. So yeah, where at in Alaska? I'm curious. Uh, I would like to know where in Alaska you are from. Anchorage also. Ah, very good. I was uh, born and raised in Anchorage, lived in South Anchorage on the hillside. Um, I was born in 74 and I left Alaska in uh, August uh, of 1997. Uh, most of my family still lives in Anchorage and surrounding areas. So, hello. Uh, I moved to uh, Arizona. I was there for about three years where I met my now wife. And then we moved to uh, Portland, Oregon in 2000 and we've been here ever since. And all these guys are now native Oregonians. Aren't you? And Alaskans and Arizonians. <laughs> no, it's from where you're, uh, where you're born or where you reside. <laughs> mm, awesome. But very cool. Probably so. Many. So let's see, Patty Fruitcake, Patty, 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 Patty. There's uh, my DJ skills are epic. <laughs> you know, I'm still getting back into it. I used to spin on three turntables, uh, and that's back when I had four or five residencies a week um, and spinning multiple formats. Like that night, that was the first time I had pulled out 80s. And uh, I had not dropped 80s in forever, and I've been spinning my last several shows just EDM as I pulled out my vinyl and set up the tables and kind of uh, greased up the elbows and get things rolling again. Um, and I had forgotten how to draw, spin 80s. Uh, when you're spinning club music and, and non-EDM non stuff, um, I forget how quick the drops and mixes and transitions must be. Uh, it's, it's, it's a practiced art. I probably will never get back to exactly where I was, but yeah, it's, it's a challenge. But thanks, Relay. <laughs> we'll be doing more. I've got a lot more music uh, uh, that's coming online here shortly. Hey, Dad? Yes? Um, will you ever be a DJ again? Like a full-time DJ? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That would be cool. That would be cool. <laughs> it, it's, it's cool to think that when you're a kid, I think. But once you've lived the life and uh, you took a break from it and then you found that uh, life got a lot more stable uh, when you weren't doing that anymore, um, sometimes it, uh, it's, it's nice to remember those years fondly and uh, then proceed as necessary. I don't know. I, I don't think I'll, I'll, I mean, I might, I might spin out. I might uh, uh, do gigs from time to time if uh, people have interest in me um, showing up. 
But, uh, I found so many stuff on the internet about you. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some stuff on the internet about me. <laughs> Fortunately, it's all good. <laughs> Best I know. <laughs> but yeah, it's there. And then before that, when I was in Alaska, I was a pro skater. Uh, inline skating. Um, I was actually sponsored by Kryptonics for a number of years in the mid-90s. Uh, Patty, I don't know if you recall the, uh, I don't know how long you've lived uh, in Anchorage, but uh, I don't know if you recall. We found the part of the nursery! Woohoo! Yay! Um, uh, recall a bike shop called r, &R Bicycle. Um, that was actually back in my uh, teenage years where I uh, uh, ran or oh, started. Yay, there's not so many people here. No, I know. It's early. It just opened. Yes! <laughs> So I, uh, I actually started and ran the inline skate department there. It was the, uh, we, we did the most volume in Alaska, hands down, way over Gary King's and everything. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a good number of years. And I uh, was a uh, certified inline skate instructor and we did videos and we did all sorts of stuff. It was a lot of fun. All right, so let me unbuckle you, mister. Hey dad, I have a good idea What's about that? if I get the plant. Um, I could give it like kind of like relay. I could give money to people who have cancer and stuff so that they could. So we will discuss that because yeah. I know you're really interested in getting another plant. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to pop out here and we're going to, it was throwback Thursday. Yeah, that was a kind of a rough idea. I don't know if my body can, can do that and still be up early and everything like that to do late night mixes and back up anymore. I'm older now. You see those wrinkles? He's not that old. He's only 41. <laughs> Thank you. I remember at his age that 41 sounded really old. All right, disconnect this. 100's really old. Yeah, that's pretty old. <laughs> 41 isn't that old. That's only 59 years away. <laughs> I'm almost halfway. All right, watch your fingers. All right. I think I may have popped in that night. I was in the middle of a 72 hour shift and was on break when I popped in. Oh, that's right, I recall that. You here, Ro? All right, let's close everything up. And so here we are. This is one more. Woohoo! Portland Nursery! The kids like this place. Actually, it's I a love really this cool place. Spot. Oops, sorry, kid. Hey, Rowan, may I hold your hand? And since we're in a parking lot? All right. This is my favorite place ever. So this is the Portland Nursery. Careful. Car backing up. Let's go over here, guys. Stay Pitcher close, please. Plant. Pitcher plant. Pitcher plant. So this is a giant outdoor nursery. Very cool spot. My kids are fanatical. I must get in there. <laughs> you are extremely old at 43. Extremely old, Colleen. <laughs> no, I'm not that old either. We're like two years more than okay. Dad. There, we're out of the parking lot. So this is the facility, and it goes back this way quite a ways. I'm going to the What's that? You're going to go see if they have the... Uh... He's, he's looking for a specific plant. Very nice spot, though. Got about everything here you can imagine. Ah, they've changed everything. I don't see them. You may have to ask for them. Oh. Yeah, they changed everything. But yeah, I mean, the way this place is laid out, it's uh, fantastic. Actually, my son knows more about plants than I do. I just follow him. <laughs> So last time we saw those right over here, right? So there was a whole shelf that was over here previously, but I have a feeling these guys do so much in volume of plants that I am dead. Age not stated. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's so funny how, uh, Mary, <laughs> it's so funny how things uh, uh, change over time with our perception of what those numbers actually mean. It's all up here, right? I guess I'll need to start window shopping for my cane. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to get that. Yeah, there is. This is called a bubbler. You like that? Someone can build me a cane cam. I think that's called a, actually what you do is you buy your selfie stick today and then you convert that to a cane when you need it. <laughs> yep, another bubbler. I don't think they'd be inside. Let's walk around here. There's a shelf over here.
Yeah, this facility goes way, way back. It's just covered with stuff. Fantastic area. It's right here in the middle of Southeast Portland. See, they weren't over here. <laughs> Did you want to ask somebody? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Actually, let's take a look down here. So this is all the organic herbs and everything like that. Definitely not going to be in here. Probably. Oops, sorry, Ken. I bonked you with my elbow. Dry out. Oh, we could. We can't go in there. That's that's the back of their warehouse. Right there. Ah. So, Mary would like to know what's on the shopping list today. Would you like to tell them, Liam? For me? Yeah. Well, what's oh. on the shopping list? What are we doing? I am going to see if I can buy a... Um, Pitcher plant if they have one, or I'll get a Venus flytrap. I'm getting if they have a pitcher plant for my teacher. And I want to go inside, so you see. For... Want to go inside? Yeah. Check there. Okay, we'll check inside. Really gonna ask, but it's still not. <laughs> I'm gonna need a Corey King cam too. 